Fears are growing that Indonesia is planning a major military assault in its Papua province. The country's top intelligence official in the province was killed last month by the West Papua National Liberation Army. There have been a spate of recent killings on both sides. West Papuans have defended their actions, saying they were eliminating spies posing as civilians. Pinned down under fire in the highlands of Indonesia's Papua province. Indonesian forces on the hunt for the West Papua National Liberation Army in their mountain stronghold. The latest clashes sparked after the NLA fighters killed two teachers and burnt down their school in April. Those Dexter words saw that uh, because the words uh, identify it as a uh, spy by the Indonesian military and police. A claim denied by the government. Indonesian outrage peaked when West Papuan fighters claimed their biggest kill in the 50-year-long fight for independence. National Intelligence Agency Chief Major General Dani shot while investigating the teachers' deaths. The emboldened West Papua military wing told SBS they will continue to kill Indonesian civilians suspected of being soldiers or spies. We do this as part of limiting the Indonesian intelligence activities in our territory. Indonesian President Joko Widodo ordering an immediate military crackdown in the remote eastern province. The West Papuan political wing in exile fears the start of an all-out conflict. This is really uh, concern me and I alert the world. This is, uh, this is real war are, are going to happen in West Papua. After decades of military lockdown with no international observers or media allowed access, recent reports of dozens of casualties, both civilian and combatant, are impossible to independently verify. Jokowi, let sit down and talk, find a solution, peacefully a solution. Jokowi, sit down with me. That seems unlikely. With claims of helicopter gunships being deployed, this unverified video posted on a military social media account. Indonesia is now prescribing the ragtag West Papuan fighters as an international terrorist organisation. Moving towards a, a counter-terrorism framework will trigger more violence, more escalating situation in Papua with, with more killings taking place and all the perpetrators can escape in a, a full impunity. Estimated killed in this long-running conflict, hundreds of thousands of Papuans and many hundreds of Indonesian soldiers. Human rights violation committed by the military or by the non-state actors such as Free Papuan Movement must be brought into court. The West Papuan political leadership rejecting the terrorist label. This is the humanitarian crisis committed by Indonesia. They are terrorists. Indonesia is terrorists. Australia has previously voiced concerns over human rights violations, but continues training the Indonesian military. Australia, this is happening in, in front of your door, you know, 500 kilometres from north of uh, uh, Queensland. Yeah. A brutal conflict continuing to unfold and largely ignored by the outside world. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.